What's up you guys? It's Zidana. Welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to talk to you guys about being new, specifically being a new grad and how it can suck. Um, and then also just being new on a job and how that can suck and some things that you can do to avoid the suckiness of it all. Okay. So if you're interested in that, let's get into the video right now. What's up you guys, it's Adana, welcome back to my channel. So I first wanted to say I'm going to be putting a video out tomorrow. It's gonna to be beneficial to all my almost new grads um, and anybody interested in um, test taking and things like that in PA school, okay? So be sure to check out that. But I wanted to talk about being a new grad. Um, I said a lot of sucks in, in the intro and you know, this is simply because it can suck. But there are some things that you can do to help avoid the suckiness. So I'm no longer a new grad. I still consider myself a baby PA, but I think for all intents and purposes, I've moved into toddler stage. Um, you know, I've been a PA for about four years now, um, and uh, it's been great, you know, ultimately. Like for the most part, it's been great. I've gotten into the area that I wanted to get into, which is OBGYN. Um, I had a lot of experience in trauma. It was actually pretty, a pretty nice path that I had. However, um, I've been talking to some of my friends and colleagues and you know, we just kind of came up with this assessment that honestly, like when it comes to graduating right out of PA school and being a new grad and you're looking for a job, it sucks. Like it really sucks. Um, you have people who are trying to like lowball you, you don't really know like what's like the best thing to do for yourself in terms of like money and schedule and all of that stuff and even like patient load you know like maybe you might be told like oh we only see like 16 patients a day but maybe those 16 patients are extremely involved and you know there is like a lot to do for them and your day is going to be not only swamped with patients, but when you leave the office, your day is gonna be kind of encompassed with your patients as well. Um, so I wanted to talk about like just, just the environment. So like I said, I've been talking to some of my colleagues and friends and you know, some of my experiences as well. And if you're not in the right environment, like, it, it just makes all of this new grad stuff even worse. And you can have people who are not willing to help you who are not willing to see you succeed or thrive for whatever reason that may be because i feel like if you su succeed and thrive the themed the team does as well however there are people who are just not team players right and so um you're gonna see that in certain jobs certain areas and that's gonna make your life even more difficult you're gonna have people who just don't know how to speak to you who talk down to you who um you know, just really aren't for helping you learn and get better. And I think that they realize that you're a new grad, but expect you to be further along than where you are. I don't, I don't really know what it is, but there are people and jobs and environments that just aren't conducive to new grads. And so first and foremost, PSA, if you're in an office like that, like don't hire any new grads, okay? Because you're just gonna crush their spirits. So stop doing that. But secondly, if you're a new grad, like there are some things that you should look at and try to like kind of pinpoint and figure out uh, beforehand before taking that job. So I definitely suggest doing your shadow days. I think it's really important to ask like, hey, is there a day that I can shadow? I think I've talked about this before because you know people cannot like hold their frustration or irritation and things like that in. And so if they are like freely talking about all of the problems that they have on the job or things that they hate about the job, um, and then you know, and you're there shadowing like, maybe that job ain't for you because honestly that's exactly how it's going to be when you get on the job maybe even worse and if they're so consumed in themselves like what makes you think that they're going to be there to help you like understand like what this lab value that you're looking at means so definitely take a look at that when you are looking at the job description if there's any question that you may have whatsoever go ahead and like ask questions about like well what does this mean what's your patient load like you know what is expected like how many um, vacation days do we have do you go like do you pay for CME um, how many providers are in the office or in the team 
how do we like rotate time like those kinds of things and and ultimately I wanted to say this right um, I was at church a couple weeks ago and my pastor had like a really really good statement that he said and it was all talking about fear um, and change like the fear of change essentially and as a new grad like you're so afraid right you're like man you're afraid to not do something you're afraid to do something you're afraid of change in general because you're like man like I have all these bills I just got this job you know ultimately it's paying really well and like I don't want to have to go through this whole process of searching again for another job like what if it's worse than the job that I have like all these thoughts and negativities go through your head um, just because simply you are afraid of change and it was and it was said like in the message you know we as people don't change until the pain of staying the same becomes greater than that fear of change and so ultimately i think that we need to overcome that we have to allow our our pain of staying the same not to be like the driving force like don't allow this whole like okay like i'm gonna just wait it out wait it out wait it out and it's just continuing to get worse because really and truly do you want it to get that bad so you want it to get bad where the pain of staying the same is the thing that is actually driving you no you want the possibilities to be what's driving you you want to be able to sit down and assess and understand like this is not what's for me this is not right for me and my mental health um my physical health uh and my growth as a provider so ultimately don't allow your fear to be greater than your ability to change okay so that is like my message for today on with all of the things to look for these little red flags when you're trying to get a job and you're a new grad and you know or you're just new <laughs> on the job okay all right hopefully this was helpful to you if you have any other questions for me leave in the comment section below don't forget to like and subscribe follow me on instagram at adama pa and on instagram at get that c university and don't forget to check out my video that i'm posting tomorrow about some things that you should really be paying attention to while you're in pa school because it's very helpful and very beneficial all right thank you guys so much for watching i will talk to you guys next time